So good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Desmos, and I welcome you to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empaths free. For those who have just found our page today, I encourage you to join our community of empaths, like the page, share and subscribe, and for the ones who have always been with me, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your continued love and support. I have about 10 to 12, 13 minutes to do this video very quickly before it rains, and I hope it will not rain as uh, rain along as I do the video. So basically, you've seen the thumbnail, and I've talked about the synchronicity dance of the awakened empath. Now, what, I'm, what, I, what I mean by that is that at some point in time during the awakening, the empath is going to experience a lot of synchronicities. By synchronicities, synchronicities are, is going to look as if uh, all the things is like your dominant thoughts are aligning with your current, with the dominant reality. So, for example, it's like you're thinking about something, and all of a sudden, you see it happening in front of you. You may have asked yourself a question or two previously, even sometimes subconsciously, without knowing it. And at the end of the day, whatever it is you asked, you got the answer in a different way, a way that actually we didn't expect. So there was a synchronicity in that in that uh, in that scenario, and you're going to stop using the logical mind. And you're going to start using the illogical mind, or sometimes what the modern science has called the subconscious mind. So basically, is basically what I mean is that most of the times the creation usually happens in the subconscious mind, within the subconscious mind. So before the awakening, you are usually doing things logically. So it's like most of the things you would think about, you would see in front of you, because it, it has been all it, it has usually been all about the ego. You have usually been controlled by your ego, but at the end of the day, when you awaken, you start to tap into your subconscious mind because at that moment the ego has been shut down, has been put to sleep. Of course, eventually you still have an you still have an ego because we all have uh, an ego with us. But now you cannot allow your ego to get into the way. So, for example, you cannot do you cannot do decisions based on what you see or what you think or what somebody has told you, whatever it is. Now you're starting to do things illogically. You don't have any logical way of doing things. And that is exactly where the secret is because most of the creation that happens in our life, it happens subconsciously. So I can give you a very quick example. I will give you about two examples. I could give you, I could the, my examples could, could go on and on and on, but I'm just going to give you two examples where synchronicities came into play. Now, after leaving the narcissist, I met... After leaving my ex-narcissist, I met another narcissist in a couple of months. And that narcissist, actually, she realized that, actually, I was very much informed about narcissism. This was a covert narcissist. Actually, I think this was a, soci a sociopath. But she realized that, actually, I was very much awakened and informed about narcissism. And most of the cases, whenever I would bring out narcissism subjects, she was very, uh, she, she would get angry and agitated. So, what happened is that, at one point in time, I started, I started practicing uh, doing videos. I wanted to do videos, and I, I thought, I was thinking about starting a video channel or whatever. I started to do videos. And most of the cases, the nurses didn't want me to do videos. She was, she was very, very much unco uncomfortable about me sitting somewhere doing a video about narcissism. So most of the cases, I found myself getting blocked and blocked and blocked along the way. So one particular day, I remember, I was out of the house. I was by myself. I was out of the house, and I was asking myself questions. Actually, I started asking myself questions the previous night. I was asking myself questions: Which better way can I do? Which better way can I help people? Which better way can I actually um, start helping people without actually having to? Um, well, which way can I? Which way can I start helping people without actually having having to cause like conflict? within the people around me and for that matter the person who was around me because i noticed that person the individual I was with wasn't happy with the idea of me talking about narcissism so while i was walking along my journey on the ground there was a small piece of paper and that small piece of paper by that time when i by that time when i was doing that i was not even informed or even aware about all these youtube platforms and, every, and everything so i saw the paper on the ground on that paper was written the word go create on that piece of paper was written a word, go, create. And believe me, people, from that moment, I stood on, I stood and just watched that paper for a while. I think it took, it took me about like two, three minutes. Actually, at the end of the day, I picked up the paper. So I was like trying to trying to go deep and try to understand what was the meaning, what was the message behind it, because I knew I didn't see that message by, by accident. I had asked the universe, I, ha I had asked God a question. How can I do and how can I... In which way can I help people? How can I help people more without actually causing conflict to the people with the people around me? 
and the message was in front of me, the message was go create. People, I can guarantee you, from that moment, that is what motivated me. I kept that piece of paper and I hope I will find it somewhere. I kept that piece of paper, I even took a picture of it. That is the paper actually what ignited me to start speaking out publicly in narcissism. I went straight away the next uh, couple of weeks. I would, later on, I would later on find out that actually it was God speaking to me through different means. I had asked a question and God was actually answering me that you should go and create. And that is exactly how I started creating this platform to become the person I am today. Example number two. Um, I found myself, um, I was having a rest at home. That, that, that was recently, just recently. I, ju I just had a chill out at home. And um, so now, now as, I, as I was watching TV, I came across a YouTube channel. And on that channel, the person who was speaking on that channel mentioned something. That was a lady who mentioned something like, go outside of the house. Mentioned something like, go outside of the house. It is your right. And believe me, people, if you're a person who is awakened, you will know what message resonates with you. You will know what message is for you. You will definitely know this is my message. Because already before, you may have had things going on in your head, thinking about certain, certain asking yourself a couple of questions. And eventually in front of you, it, it could happen through a friend. It could happen on the on the floor. Like I made that, I, I, I found a piece of paper on the floor, just lying on the floor. It could happen on the TV. You may see something on TV. It, you, you may read it in a book. You may actually see a signpost. Or, you may tell, or even sometimes you may see a phrase or a word on the painting or something that that, that word whatever it is you are going to see that is exactly your answer now that woman said in the video she was holding something and on that on that paper she was holding was written written a word go out of the house it is your right now <clears throat> in the next one or two minutes what i did i just said okay so go out of the house i just put on my shoes went out of the house and there was, a, there was a place that I usually used to sit. There's a place I usually, usually like sitting. Even sometimes I made some videos in that area. So there's a place I usually, I, usually, I usually used to sit. I went exactly to that place. It was a couple of, uh, quite a distant, uh, uh, it was a few minutes walk from my home. So I went and sat in that place. In that place, when I reached that area, I found another man sitting in that place. On that same bench, it's like a bench. There was, uh, there was an old man sitting on that bench. Now, all I did, I came to that bench and asked the old man, uh, excuse me, sir, can I just sit down next to you? The man said, yeah, it's not a problem. So I, I just sat down next to him and we started conversing, discussing. We started, we started, we started talking all of a sudden. The old man, in, a, in about two, three minutes, he told me, okay, so you know what? I, I need to leave because I've been sitting here for a while. I have to go. Now, the old man stood up and left. As soon as he had left, like it took me like one or two minutes, I just looked down uh, under the bench that I was sitting and there was money lying on the floor. So, that's when now the message came to me. I said, that, okay, so now I get it. The only thing that God was telling me is that all you need to do is go out of the house. It's your right. And I was, I was, now, I was, now, I was now supposed to co-create. I was supposed to co-create because usually what happens after awakening is you, you, you become a co-creator. It's like the universe will give you some signs. So you start to use these signs to navigate life to the next level. So you'll find yourself going from place A to point B to point C just by signs and synchronicities. So the empath who is awakened, you're going to find yourself actually getting involved in a very long it, it Synchronicities are going to happen in so many ways. Some, some people have got synchronicities whereby they are seeing a lot of repeated numbers. You're going to see numbers like 11, 11, you're going to see numbers 2, 2, 2, whatever, 3, 3, 3. Now, I'm not into numerology, but most of the cases, if you see a number that actually happens to follow you along the way, you just have to go and Google that number, exactly what does it mean and what is, what is, God, trying, what is God trying to tell you? Because most of those numbers, they signify something. It's like there's a message hidden behind those numbers and you just have to go and Google that number, understand what the universe is trying to say, what God is trying to tell you. And most of the times, the empath who is awakened, you're going to find yourself getting involved in a very long synchronicity of the dance. You're going to be, you're going to dance along with the universe. You're going to dance along with the universe because it, it's going to look as if there is something helping you in the background. There's something helping, helping you on the side. Any question you have is going to be answered straight away. It may take a couple of minutes, may take a couple of hours, but you're going to get an answer of your question. I remember at some point in time, I had a very, a very specific question. I'll, I'll keep that question to myself that I, uh, or that particular day. I had a specific question I asked myself. Only to find out later, a couple of hours later, I met somebody and that person had a jacket and on that jacket was written the answer yes because i had a question that i, I was asking myself I, I was asking i was i was contemplating on something and i just wanted god to give me a sign to give me an answer you know in any way in whichever form or way only to find out later a couple of hours later that actually somebody would come in front of me 
and the jacket they were wearing, on that jacket there was written a word, yes. So it's like I just straight away got the answer that I was looking for. So the empaths who are awakening, you're going to find that actually most of your life is going to be full, is going to be filled with synchronicities. You're going to see some other uh, unobvious, it's like, it's like paranormal things happening around you. You know what I mean? So when you're awakened, you have to understand you have tapped into your higher self. You have tapped, you have tapped, you have tapped into your divine nature. You have tapped into your higher self. So most of the cases you're going to realize that actually you're communicating a lot with the uh, it's going, to look, it's, it's going to look as if there's a, a different world you can see from the world that you used to see before. So you see, at the, before your awakening, you are reasoning with the 3D. You are on the 3D state of consciousness. But after awakening, you raise to, to the 5D state of consciousness. And the, the life there, the things you see, the things you experience, the language you speak, the people around you, everything is going to alter. So it's not, life is, not, is never going to be the same. So it's like when you tap into your divine nature on the awakened, as an awakened empath, you tap into, you, you tap into your divine nature and you tap into your higher self. You are going to, most of the cases, get connected to all these other things that other people cannot see. So you as a person, you may have a question, you ask yourself, you're going to look around you, you're going to see that thing. You may see it on TV, somebody may even mention it. You, you could have asked yourself a, a question, for example, and all of a sudden somebody passes next to you and they speak out. It's like, it will look as if they're, they're actually answering your question that you've asked. So it's like God is usually moving with you. God is moving along with you. You know what I mean? So I prefer to use I, I prefer to use the word universe, but for the, for the most of you who are uh, very religious, you, you, you would actually want to use the word God or angels or some, some other people want to say Buddha, some other people want to say Jehovah, depending on your religion, it doesn't matter. But at the, same, at the end of the day, we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. So we are all the same in front of God. It does not matter what is your religion, what is your faith or whatever. We are all one consciousness. So basically, you're going to understand that actually, you're going to figure out the connectedness of everything. Most of the things, the answers, you, the questions you ask yourself in your mind, the things you have in your mind, they are going to reflect in front of you. The universe is actually within you, but at the end of the day, it is exactly what is happening within you that is going to be reflected upon in, in your outer world, in your reality. So as an awakened empath, be ready if you have awakened or if you're on the way to awaken, you have got to be ready to actually come face to face with your divine or higher self. Higher self, I mean like the higher version of you, the invisible version of you, your, your spirit, your soul. You know what I mean? So it's like you're communicating directly with God. Most of the cases you're going to find a lot of things, a lot of things are going to happen to you illogically. It's, it's not going to make sense to you. It's, it's not going to be logical. And you're going to wonder why are you seeing certain things? Why are you seeing certain numbers? Why is actually messages, messages coming to you in a... In a much more unusual way, or even paranormal, if I can say like that. Sometimes you can even see just a specific animal. For example, it can be a very a, a, a rare breed of a dog. All of a sudden, you're walking outside and actually find sometimes it, it feels as if there's a dog. Or always animals tend to gravitate towards you. It could be cats, it could be dogs, it could be what. So there's always something to understand. Actually, when you're walking, you understand that actually now you've tapped into your subconscious mind. You've tapped into your divine self, your higher self. So the life is going to actually be making more sense on the 5D state of consciousness. You're no, you're no longer going to be using the 3D awareness or the 3D state of consciousness. That is the 3D which is actually, which is actually associated with the ego. But at the moment of awakening people, I can guarantee you, you have stepped out of your ego or even sometimes you have learned how to regulate your ego and how to manage your ego. So your ego is, your ego is out of the way. You're no longer reasoning with your ego. You are now reasoning with your divine and higher self. So be sure you're going to experience synchronicities, a lot of them. You're going to see things on TV. Most of the time, there will be messages that are give, being given to you. Like like most of my videos, you heard me talking about downloads. Like today, I was just going out to the shops, and the download straight away came to me that this is what you need to talk about. Just talk about synchronicities. So you're going to get downloads, specific downloads, on a specific time, on a specific day. It's going to happen because now there's no more brain fog. Remember, all these years you've been associated with... Um, um, Excuse me, I need to find the right word. You've been associated with uh, you've been associated with abuse, so you've been having a lot of brain fog. Now you have awakened; the brain fog is gone. The brain fog is lifted off your head. So now you are clear with God. You under, you know what I mean. So there's no more fog in between there. So you are now connected. You are very much. I, I call it being tapped in. You are tapped in into the divine. You are tapped in into into your higher self, into your soul, into your spirit, into your into your divine nature. So you are going to get different synchronicities for, di for different things. You're going to ask a question, you're going to get the answer. The answer, all I need to tell you is that you're, you're going to get the answer in a different way. It may not be the answer. It will not come in that way that you expect. It's going to come in a different way. The only thing you're supposed to do is look around you and read the signs because the signs are everywhere. You may see the signs on the signboard. You may see an answer you've, you've asked about. You may hear it through a friend, a, a person may pass you and they may say exactly the same answer you're looking for. Or you may see it on TV, you may read it on a book or something, but there's always an answer around you that you just need to tap in to understand exactly 
what is God trying to say? What is the answer or the answer to your question that you asked? And actually, you need to understand how to trans to translate the language of the universe for your for your to translate and understand the language of the universe and use it for your own good and your own personal development. Guys, let me know what you think in this in this comment section below. I know most of the people it could be a little bit confusing, but I just I just want to let you know for the most of you who are awakening, you're going to go to a different level of consciousness. You're going to understand that actually the world has always been an illusion. It is not always the things you are told in schools, not the things you are told in church, it's not the things you are told by your parents, the culture, the tradition or whatever religion. It is not the things that actually are making sense. It is actually mo most of most of it the life you've been living all along has always been an illusion, but there's another world that actually that, that, that has never been told or even talked about for as long as you've lived. So there's a different world altogether. There's the physical world, the 3D reality of the, the 3D world, and there's, there's the 5D world when you're awake. So let me know think in the comment section below. Let me know if the, if I'm speaking to you. Let me know if this is if this, this video resonates with you. Other than that, people, much love and blessings. I hope to get back in touch with you soon. There's a more signing out. Catch you soon.